Here is a book that you can use to learn C++ from the master, the actual creator of C++, and I hope I don't say his name incorrectly, Bjarne Strostrup, the creator of C++. This is the third edition. I've had this book for a little while. I actually had an older edition, and I don't know where it is, so I lost it over the years. This is a book that I have memories with. I've looked at this book. I used this book to help teach myself some C++, and I thought it was pretty good. In this video, we're just going to take a brief look at the contents of this book so you can see what it's like. I think it's a good book, and it belongs in every computer programmer's library, so if you want to get a copy, I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. Let's open it up here. It's pretty cool. Jarn Strahlstrop, AT&T Labs, Murray Hill, New Jersey. Yeah, a lot of stuff was created at AT&T Labs, in particular the C programming language was created there by Brian Kernigan and Dennis Ritchie, and now Strahlstrop uh, with C++. Here's some information, introductory material, a tour, basic facilities. We're going to look at some of the intro stuff in a minute. Abstraction mechanisms, and then the standard library, and design using C++. Now, if you go to college, I'm pretty sure they still have courses that teach C++. A lot of colleges uh, teach Java now, and some teach C, teach C, but there are some that offer classes on uh, C++. Let's see what it says here. I find using C++ more enjoyable than ever. C++'s support for design and programming has improved dramatically over the years, and lots of new helpful techniques have been developed for its use. However, C++ is not just fun. Ordinary practical programmers have achieved significant improvements in productivity, maintainability, flexibility, and quality in projects of just about any kind of scale. By now, C++ has fulfilled most of the hopes I originally had for it, and also succeeded at tasks I hadn't even dreamt of. So, you know, since, since the writing of this book, which, let's just look at the copyright here, when this was first published, 1997, so wow, it's, it's pretty old, um, a lot has changed, right? A lot has changed. I mean, this is from the last century, so there's been a lot of improvements in technology, a lot of new programming languages, um, there's been a lot of advancements, but C++ is still C++. Oh, I love this. I love this. Look at the pre preface to the second edition. It's got a quote from Bilbo Baggins. The road goes ever on and on. And I'm thinking, like, when was Lord of the Rings the movie released, right? Probably after this book was published, but the books are old. I remember uh, watching the old school Lord of the Ring cartoons on, on television. So, yeah, pretty cool that there's a, a quote in there by Bilbo Baggins. And then here's an introduction. This introduction gives an overview of the major concepts and features of the C++ programming language and its standard library. It also provides an overview of the book and explains the approach taken to the description of the language facilities and their use. In addition, the introductory chapters present some background information about C++, the design of C++, and the use of C++. It talks about the structure of the book and so on. So the book has, let's just skip to like the middle of the book so you can see uh, what it's like. You know, it explains everything in, in, in detail. Um, obviously you want to you know, have a computer with you and you know, run the code examples uh, that you see in the book, right? You want to type it all out, you want to practice, right? You learn coding by actual coding um, and so you want to try to practice everything you see in this book uh, as as you work through it. I just got to give the book a whiff here. It smells, it's got an interesting smell. Here it talks about the C standard library. So C is the first computer programming language that I learned and I learned it uh, before going to college at all um, just for fun and I thought it was quite interesting. So here it talks about C style strings. There's some more stuff, some advice. Yeah, so it's just a, a wealth of information. And you have, and you have exercises uh, at the end that you can practice and see if you can get some, some programs working. 
So the nice thing about programming exercises is a lot of times, you know, you can tell if you did them right because the program will run correctly. You know, if the program doesn't, doesn't compile or you get an error or you don't get the expected output, um, then, then you know you're not doing it correctly. So that's, that's one of the things about programming uh, exercises that make it a little bit easier. And here's, here he is. Um, I, I'm sure he looks much older now. This is an older book. There's Bajarn. So, yeah, the, here it talks a little bit about him. Bajarn Shrostep is the original implementer of C++ and the author of the C++ programming language, first edition 85, second edition 91. So pretty old stuff, right? So really, really old now. Uh, and it's kind of weird. I remember when C++ was like, you know, not the new thing, but definitely the newer thing compared to C. C is even older, so that's pretty cool. More than 500,000 programmers have benefited from previous editions. Yeah, and by now, uh, probably a lot of people, uh, you know, I don't think people realize how, what a big impact the creators of these programming languages have on the actual world. I mean, because of C++, we have so much software today, and same thing with C. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty interesting book. I like how he has advice at the end. I think that's really cool. Don't panic, all will become clear in time. You don't have to know every detail of C++ to write good programs. That's true. The same is true for C. You don't have to know everything. You don't have to be like an expert. Um, you just have to know how to use some things and get code working. Focus on programming techniques, not on language features. Yeah, this is something that um, I really used to get hung up on when I was uh, first learning C. I was really stuck on the language features, like all the little details. I remember my first uh, class in college was a programming class, and I, it was they were using C, and I already knew C, and I remember sitting there and correcting the teacher constantly, and I didn't want to be rude, but you know she would make little mistakes or say things that technically weren't correct, or you know it's, it wasn't a best practice, you know probably not a good idea to use that code in your C programs, and so I'd raise my hand and talk about why or talk about some general you know, code design principles and stuff like that. And here I am, you know, uh, you know, high school dropout, GED, correcting uh, my computer science teacher. Not, not, not really the best thing to do, uh, but it was an interesting experience. In any case, um, great book for learning C++. I think it's fantastic. I have a couple other C++ books, but this is one of the ones that um, sticks with you, you know. It's, it's a great book for learning C++. And again, I'll leave a link uh, in the description of this video. If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe. Also, if you want to learn mathematics, I do have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but if you get them, please use the links from the description of any of my videos or from my website, freemathvids.com or mathsorcerer.com. I don't have any programming courses yet, but I do have lots of math courses. I hope it's been helpful. Take care.